Assalamualaikum and a very good day to everyone. My name is Muhammad Ali Najmi bin Abdul Rahim and I will be talking about cloud computing. As the world grow day by day, the technology that we are using are getting more and more advanced than before. The same goes for all the information that we can get with a simple click over our digital device. As much as the information can be obtained, we too can create information digitally. In our organization, every document or records that are created are needed to be stored in its respective format of storage, whether they are in physical or digital form. With the numbers of physical records that are created increase each day, it will become more and more difficult to get a space to store them and the same problem can be applied on digital records. As a manager of a company, what is the best solution? That is when the cloud computing comes in. Cloud computing is the delivery of multiple services over the internet. Those services include servers, storage, databases, and many more. The main objective for an organization to be using a cloud computing is to maximize their business operation in order to increase their productivity. Companies such as Google, Microsoft, Adobe, and Zoom are using cloud computing. And the reason for that lies in the benefit of cloud computing. What are the benefits of cloud computing? Well, the first benefit of having a cloud computing for an organization is cost saving. Having third party for cloud computing to store abundance documents will cost money, but the total money that is spent cannot be compared with letting the organization itself to secure its own IT infrastructure to store those documents. The organization might have to set up a space for the server computer, which costs more money, not to mention the cost for electricity consumption to operate the servers and the cost of maintaining the servers. The second benefit is the security it provided. The cloud host job is to monitor the security of its servers in order to gatekeep its client data from any potential threat. With the cloud computing having its own security service, the organization would not have to put up more effort by having separate division to secure the, safe the safety of those documents. The third benefit is the flexibility it offered. When an organization is needed to focus on many tasks, Having a cloud computing service will ensure that the organization will not have to worry about taking care of the place to store the documents or upgrading their IT infrastructure to store more documents. For the fourth benefit, which is mobility, show how cloud computing can be used to almost its full potential. Cloud computing allows the user to access their data from any electronic device that range from a PC to mobile device. With a user or smartphone are increased each day, it is logic for cloud computing to give access over mobile device. With some workers might need to work from home, the ability to access the document from a long distance will ensure that the workers can work in any sort of environment as long as there is internet connection. The third benefit is disaster recovery. Let's say if the organization was struck by natural disaster and lost almost all of its property including of including its physical documents. Then as long as there is another copy of document on the cloud computing, it can still be recovered. But with the benefits that came with cloud computing, the organization is also putting themselves at risk of using cloud computing. One of the risks in using cloud computing is unauthorized access. A cloud service can store data from multiple organizations, 
making it a potential target for the criminal to steal those data. Not only that, but the data is also exposed to unauthorized access from the cloud service vendor itself. Another risk is using cloud computing. Another risk in using cloud computing is lack of control over the performance. As an organization, we only depend on the service from the cloud computing vendor without actually supervised of how well they operate their service. The system that is used to store those data might not be able to operate well at all times. And it could result in an organization to unable to operate their business since they cannot access their information when the system is down. The third list is trust towards the provider. The trust between the organization and the vendor is something that is very crucial. If the vendor did not have a proper policy statement, it might be difficult to put on a legal action toward the provider in case something goes wrong, like one of the vendor's staff had illegally accessed the data and selling it. The last risk of using cloud computing is the compatibility. Some organizations might have already had their own IT infrastructure to store their documents. The problem will occur when the organization is trying to displace the data from the existing storage to the cloud storage and then having a compatibility issue regarding the servers. The compatibility Compatibility issues is not just related to the server but also with the security guidelines or the organization policies. To conclude, as a manager of a company, it is an important task to decide if the benefit of the cloud computing can actually help the organization or if the risks are not worth it to be considered in using the service. The benefits might not always be as helpful as we thought and the risk might have their own solution to be discovered. Whatever the issue was, it is all back to the manager to decide when and how they will use or not use the cloud computing service. That is all for me. Thank you for listening.